I want to show a range check here for a tiny whoop trying to do long distance setup vertical polarized antenna it works best to keep that vertical this is just a uh, piece of coax and then notice it's potted with the welder uh, cement or shoe goo and on my receive side this is 9 dB vertical or vertical polarized just patch antennas on the clear view and so I got a range of 1275 feet 1300 feet look right here I was situated in the attic of my townhouse and was able to fly to that street right there that corner one thing when you're doing long range FPV and you don't have return home is it's not going to happen in a this is 17.9 gram tiny whoop you need to know where you're flying in case you have to uh, have a bail out and you need to go find it and another thing that's really helpful for finding it I actually had to do that yesterday when I was testing a cellular antenna which totally sucked I'll throw that in the trash is uh, when you have some good directional antennas on your goggles you can go out hunting you know by basically looking for the video signal then go for your S RSSI and then find it and you want to have some reserve on your battery because you know once your video goes dead you're not going to find this thing and so uh, but you can home in on it you know pretty easily if it's landed upside down you got to get really close but anyway uh, better to kind of know where you're ditching uh, my uplink is no problem 1300 milliwatts I got a video on that for the conversion so I'm never gonna lose uplink downlink I lose and I'm hoping if I lose downlink I just gain altitude and then I can get it back because it'd be a tree or something like that in the way but this is long range just testing air only trying to avoid trees but I probably ended up ranging at 1300 feet because I was starting to get some having to go through some uh, trees this will probably improve in the winter time or I got to do higher altitude so here's the video got that queued up here so the signal is kind of ratty because I'm on top I'm in the attic of my townhouse and then I'm I got the antenna aimed the other way I'm going to be going with a uh, the RSSI Track Pro. I'm going to try that out. I'll do a video on it. But once I get into my, I'm, I just passed. I was in the attic, you know, right there. So basically, I'm doing a range check, trying to conserve battery. And I'm flying out, following that street. Clearview is nice. You can see a nice crisp video, but I really don't like what happens at the edge of signal. When it degrades, it degrades fast, and then it has a hard time picking it back up. So clear view for the ultra long range, I kind of doubt it's going to be good. There, I'm just making sure my radiation pattern is similar. That's really important, keeping this antenna vertical. Otherwise, you can turn around and lose your signal completely. Like, oops, maybe you could back it back home. But flying backwards is not fun. So there's where I wanted to see. There's the intersection on the map, which is 1,300 feet. So right here, signal definitely starts degrading. I still have my digital lock on the clear view. I didn't lose that, and I didn't want to lose that because this thing is really hard to fly. And it starts almost lost it. So. Oh, I'm fighting the wind big time coming back, especially at high altitude, and you don't want to drop down because you'll lose your signal. So uh, you definitely want to have some dual rates set up because I, uh, coming back, I literally was pitching probably 50, 60 degrees. And if the winds can get pretty strong, you don't realize flying downwind until you turn around and got to fly upwind. 
so it's coming back and I'm basically I'm in that attic right there in my setup I'm gonna be permanently installing antennas actually wrong attic I'm in that attic I'm gonna be installing um, permanent antennas and video seems to stop recording then but uh, so you definitely it's directional get long range I don't see any purpose on circular polarized. I've been trying them both back and forth quite a bit. And uh, I definitely like the weight savings of a simple antenna. I got another video which shows how I built this thing at 17.9 grams. And um, quite a few uh, changes on it. But it's worth it because I could go four and a half minutes until completely dead on the battery but I always set my timer for three minutes give me some time to get back and, uh, and then if I used a larger battery I'm sure I could be in five minute you know range with the 250s I fly it with the 21 the 210s and uh, so anyway 9 dB clear view 1300 foot through a single layer of um, asphalt shingles so might get a further range. I couldn't find attenuation charts for what half inch plywood with uh, shingles would do, but it is, they are dry. And uh, so I think the attenuation is minimal. When I get my, I'll have more videos where I'll have an actual ground station mounted up on my roof. If there's a significant difference between in the roof and outside the roof, I'll figure out a way to mount it outside the roof. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.